Hi students, today I am going to discuss the digital signature standard. So what the digital signature standard is nothing but a digital signature standard use the digital signature algorithm that is a DSA algorithm. So it is uh, proposed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology in 1991. This is the most important concept in the cryptography. This is a highest algorithm to provide the authentication. Now the DSS uh, is used the digital signature algorithm. So it is designed to provide only the digital signature function and it cannot be used for encryption or key exchange. So already uh, the encryption of the messages or the key exchange concepts are taken in some of the cryptography algorithms. Now we know that the encryption is taken in the conventional and the public key cryptography. And coming to this uh, key management, the key management can be taken uh, different uh, distribution of the uh, key distribution concept is there. So for using the uh, distribution of the key securely between the two users and uh, it, it cannot use for encryption or the key, key exchange. Now coming to this, it must be a public key cryptography technique. So what the internal uh, uh, implementation of this uh, DSA is nothing but the RSA implementation. So that's why in sometimes the DSS is nothing but it is an extension of the uh, RSA algorithm. And also it can use as the SHA, SHA algorithm that is a secured hash algorithm is, is also used for hashing the message. So what the hashing the message is nothing but hashing is the cryptographically protected data. So the cryptographically protected data is taken the, with the help of the hash function. And coming to this particular, the main concept of the digital signature approach. So how it can be approaches, the DSS approaches are nothing but it depends on the RSA approach and the second one is the DSS approach that is the digital signature standard approach. And coming to the detailed discussion of the digital signature standard is so the format of the signature scheme for a digital signature according to DSS. So that means here there is a format. The format which can be included the uh, signature, uh, that signature will be taken as the digital signature. So is uh, uh, slightly different on the sender and the receiver side. That means uh, you can observe the signature is the common for anywhere. So it will not change for uh, sender side, it will not change in the recipient side. That's why the signature can be verified in both the sides of the sender and the receiver. So on the sender side, the message generates the hash code. So how this uh, signature can be provided in the sender side? So the sender side can be uh, prepared that particular message or generated that message with the help of the hashing codes. So the hash code can be considered in the sum of the a following criteria. So the first one is the input to initiate the signature function is. So the first one you can take the hash function. So one more a random number k created specifically for the electronic signature. So it specify the uh, specifically implement the digital signature or created the signature with the help of the one random number. So that random number is nothing but here the k. We can select the k. So the, pre, the next one, the private key belongs to the sender and the public key. So here the concept of the private key, uh, uh, public key cryptography is nothing but, so both the end users can generate the pair of keys. The pair of keys are nothing but the public key and the private key. So here out of these two keys, so the sender, the sender can uses, the sender can uses his private key in the encryption and that encryption pattern can be taken so provided the authentication because the sender uses their only the private key and he can distribute his public key to the others and similarly if the recipient can generate the pair of keys he can distribute his public key to the sender this is the common concept of the public key cryptography so here the three main concepts can be identified the first one is the hash code is implemented and second one is the a random number or the secret number k can be used by the uh, used for the electronic signature by the sender or the receiver and the public key belongs to the uh, sender and the private key belongs to the now coming to this uh, 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 diagram you can observe this diagram 
the digital signature this is the digital uh, signature function and apply to the hash function then finally it can be formed as to the a documentation this document has taken the input of this particular now you can uh, observe in this particular a uh, detailed uh, uh, description of this particular you may be observed so it is a digitally signed document when the digitally signed document so you just uh, sorry you just observed this so when it can be digitally signature now you can take it this is the digitally signed document and this is nothing but the this is nothing but the signed document so what the difference between the signed document and the digitally signed document so when we are using the hash function here the signed document is converted into the digital signed document this is the encryption pattern now coming to this decryption pattern the digital signed data document is taken and here you can consider the two more hash function so for application to identify the digital signature and final to, final to the uh, document is verified so how this process can be implemented that that we have to be discussed here one more uh, uh, one more time I, i just give this point so how the digitally signed i already uh, discussed uh, the signature can be implemented by the hash code is so now in between the hash code is taken so the hash code is taken the a normal uh, data the normal document without signed that document is converted into the signed document and here you can observe the signed document can be taken into the two parts so one is one uh, document and verified these to be the help of the two hash functions here the hash function for encryption uh, message for hash function for decode the messages now you can coming to the detailed discussion of the rsa approach and dss approach coming to this rsa approach you can observe a message m is applied to the hash function why we can apply the hash function so i already said the dss approach may depends on the three part one is the hash code for implementing the digital signature and public key cryptography using for the confidentiality or authentication mechanism and uh, the key management here also can be taken so the message m here you can observe clearly you can observe clearly the message m is applied to the hash function the hash function is uh, taken the digital signature standard after that you can apply the encryption function with the private key why you can use the private key the sender uses his private key in the encryption what message is generated that is an authenticated message was generated now the finally the authenticated message is can be produced from the uh, output of this particular so these two are concatenated and finally prepares the m and another part is uh, e of m now you can observe the hash function again in the decryption side you can apply to this message if both messages are equal then it can be provides as its authentication now that will be considered in the mac function already we discussed in the mac and hash functions so if both uh, h of m messages are equal because of you just observed here in the decryption you can apply the public key of the user a so that means whatever the key which is used the private key of the sender the pair of the key is used in the encryption that is a public key here so you can observe so encryption of this particular will apply to the decryption finally you get the message here the h of m so here you can observe this is an h of m so h of m and here it can also produce the h of m so if both the messages are equal then it can be provides as its authenticator so this is the concept of the this particular rsa approach now coming to the digital signature the similarly the digital signature can be provided so hash function is used with the message m and here the main important concept of this the signature function and the verification function here we can used how we can use the signature function and the verification function here the signature function is type of the encryption function and the verification function is the uh, a type of the decryption function so in the signature it can be take puz puz that is in another format we will called as an kuz so the union global public key the global public key union union so kuz in the sense global public key so the global public key which are used commonly you can observe here the kuz can be here and a K, kuz can be here 
so the global public key elements can be used and here you can observe the private key of the sender a the public key of the sender a the pair of keys can be encrypted and the decryption then here it should be defined the target of the dss approach what the dss approach by using the hash function it generates by using the hash function you can observe here by using the hash function it may be con considered to the signature function signature message that is an authenticated message and using this public key cryptography the sender's public key a uh, private key and the sender public key because the sender only sends his public key to the recipient so the dss uh, can be fulfilled here based on the extension of the rsa approach now you can observe how it can be verify the signature so this is very important concept because the implementation of this particular a uh, digital signature uh, uh, standard algorithm we have to take the hash function here and the signature function can be taken the k so already <coughs> in the uh, dss approach we can observe the three points one is an hash function a random number generator that is the k here we can use the k here so sorry so here you can observe you can observe k here the k can be used here the k is the a random a number generation in a random number which is selected by the user a so the signature algorithm allows uh, here the different uh, uh, criteria one is then hash code is allowed and the integer k and uh, uh, the public key elements and the private key so the four can be combined into the signature and this signature is concatenated this signature is concatenated with the message m if both are the uh, concatenated then it derive the m message it derive the s message and it will lay two labeled messages s and r m is the common message that is a original message and s is nothing but this is the labeled two labeled message n s and r so now this uh, hash function is again this is an decryption side now coming to the decryption side how we can reveal the original message here the hash function is uh, used again in the um, uh, message and with with can be added to the verification function the verification functions allows uh, again the global public elements that is a kuz and the public key of the sender and here uh, the message m and s labeled s and r labeled if we combine all the uh, constraints to the verification function and finally one code is uh, derived so this will be the comparison between these two what this mean to this is an r r message r message is equals to the output of the verification function the output of the verification function so what the output of the verification function we get so that is equals to the labeled r if both are the equal then it can be provides as its authenticator so this is the uh, 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 concept of the digital signature in the next video we will see so how implementation of the signature function how we can implementation of the verification function thank you